when people just have a TikTok or just have an Instagram, I think that there's a lot of benefits there, but the real benefit is sending people to a YouTube platform that actually gives you the ability to make money. What you'll find is that your vibe will attract your tribe. Everything that you do on social media needs to drive to YouTube and then give people crazy amounts of value, change their lives. They feel as if they owe you because they do owe you. People are like, man, you gotta have a brand, you gotta have a brand. Okay, well, what is your brand doing for you and unless it's going to a platform that actually pays you money? So think about this as from a personal brand standpoint. TikTok, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, that's, the, that's a dating app, right? People are swiping up, swiping up, swiping up, swiping up. Oh, I like this guy, right? Wow, I like this guy. The algorithm goes, oh, you like blondes with big boobs. Cool, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep sending that type of thing to you. So for me, if people see my content on short form, they're like, I'm, I'm the blonde with big boobs in this story. So um, people are swiping up and they see something I say that gets them excited. They're like, oh, this is cool, and they like it. And guess what, they swipe past it, right? Oh, that was cool. Swipe, swipe. Then the algorithm tomorrow is gonna feed them more of my content. Then how did I make money from that? I didn't. I literally just got them to date me. How do I get them to marry me is take them, actually take them on a journey in long form. And people then marry me and they learn things from me. So you can't learn anything in 30 seconds. Not, not anything of like crazy substance. An idea can be sparked on an Instagram reel, a YouTube short or a TikTok, but real substance and real education is on long form video. So what I really want is I want people to see me on my online dating app and I want them to come over and I want to go on the first date with them on YouTube. And after watching three or four YouTubes from them, now how do I make money? My YouTube channel makes me 20 grand a month. That's okay, pays for some of my team. But how do I make money now on YouTube? People now learn how to actually do what I do because they're watching a video with actual substance. Are you learning much on people's short form content about video editing and all that kind of stuff? A little bit, but then you're like, oh, that was too fast. I need to watch something that's 15 minutes. So then you go over to people's YouTube channel and you type in blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, okay. And then what they do is in their link in the description, they have like the gear. Well, guess what? Now they make, they make money on the gear. They got you to go on the journey to go to the link that then actually, actually makes them money. So if somebody's out there making Instagram reels and TikTok, YouTube all day, Day, every day is the foundation of everybody's content. And when people just have a TikTok or just have an Instagram, I think that there's a lot of benefits there, but the real benefit is sending people to a YouTube platform that actually gives you the ability to make money. Now you can make money a hundred different ways. I can make money if I'm a coach, I can make money by having people come into my mentorship program. That's really hard to do on TikTok and Instagram. Those platforms don't want people leaving those platforms, okay? If you go into my stories, I'll give you a good example. My Instagram stories, on average, will get about 10,000 to 20,000 views per story, okay? But when I put a link on my stories, Instagram diminishes my my views down to 3,500 because they don't want people seeing my link that sends people over to YouTube. So people are trying to get people on Instagram and TikTok to click on links to go buy stuff. Dude, Instagram and TikTok don't want that. Twitter doesn't want that. They want people staying on the app, okay? So you have to figure out ways to get people over your channel. How do you do that? You then put, you take your long form, okay? Take your long form, take a, a clip out of it for short form, and then say, you wanna see the rest? Go over to my YouTube channel. They won't go to your YouTube channel until you say that the fourth or fifth time. They go, oh damn, that's right, this guy has a YouTube channel. And the next time they're taking a shit, they're gonna actually go on their YouTube app and go paste more be YouTube and they'll start watching my videos. Then I can actually start making money. How do I make money? I make money by them learning how to do what I do, sending me deals that I want to buy. How did I get this property that we're gonna go ch check out right now? Social media. But it wasn't from Instagram and TikTok and, and the other things. It was them seeing those things, getting excited about learning more, going to my YouTube, learning how to do what I do, and then sending me the opportunity. I bought $100 million in real estate last year from YouTube. I didn't buy any money from Instagram and TikTok, okay? So then, if you, like for you, if you're a digital creator, right? Which you are, you should have a YouTube channel. You should be talking about, hey, I spent a whole week with Pace Morby, here's what I learned. You should make 20 videos of that. Here's the camera I used, here's the lens I used, here's why I did this, here's why I did that. Da, 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 da. People wanna learn that. They go down below and they go, man, he's got the Tamron lens. You got a Tamron lens, right? Yeah. Cool, so, but people wanna know this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they go, oh, well, where do I get it? Well, there's 50 different places to get that lens, but where's the place they're actually gonna click on is the one that's conveniently directly underneath your video that allows you to make an affiliate income.
Now think about this too. All these companies are spending all this money on their art, on their big diesel trucks, their billboards, their ads, their you know lights everywhere, their signs everywhere you go. So they're spending money to try and get people's attention. In fact, in my title company, I own a title company. We have a salesperson that goes out and cold calls people. Man, we pay this guy ten thousand dollars a month to go cold call and drive business to the drive, drive revenue to the business. Right? The new way to hire people to sell your products is instead of going and hiring salespeople and paying them $10,000 a month, is to go to the influencer and say, hey, influencer, we'll pay you a portion of the sales that we would have paid to a sales guy, but the sales guys are no longer valid in this economy, and this is no longer the way things are sold. People want to buy things from people that are doing exactly what they want to do. We want to encourage you, so instead of giving those people the income for selling our product, we want to give you the income for selling our product. Well, you're not going to do that on TikTok and Instagram really effectively. It's way more effective on YouTube. So everything that you do on social media needs to drive to YouTube and then give people crazy amounts of value, change their lives, and they feel as if, and they do, they feel as if they owe you because they do owe you. You spent money, time, sacrifice, time away from other opportunities to put a high quality piece of content out there that gives them a condensed, quick way to learn something that took you 10 years to learn or two years to learn or two months to learn, whatever it is. You know what's interesting? There's a lot of people that teach what I teach. A lot of people that teach what I teach. But what you'll find is that your vibe will attract your tribe. What does that mean? That means that there are people that only can hear what you have to say because they like the way you look. So what's gonna happen is people go, oh man, Peter McKinnon already did all these videos on this and da 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 da. Okay, he's a Canadian weirdo with tattoos all over his all over his there's people that will not listen to Peter McKinnon. They don't know why they don't want to listen to him, but they are like, I prefer Zach over Peter McKinnon. So there's all these people out there that even if it's same or similar content, it's a completely different delivery method. It's a completely different way it's explained. It's a con different, different con uh, you know, difference in the cadence and the tone of the voice. And those people prefer that content over that content. There is literally no such thing as competition because you're not competing. You're fragmenting and finding the people that specifically want to learn from you as an individual because they resonate more with you than they ever would with Peter McKinnon. That's it. And so I see a lot of creators out there like, oh, Pace already done did that. Well, sh I, yeah, I've done it. But think about this. I know that there's 8 billion people on planet Earth. How many people follow me and actually know me and watch my sh 2 million. Not even 1% of 1% of 1% of 1% of, of people on the planet Earth even know who I am. And somebody out there is like, I can't do this real estate stuff on YouTube because Pace is already doing it. Yeah, how much people watch YouTube? It's crazy. It's like four billion hours, of, uh, uh, four billion hours per hour are watched on YouTube every. Wow. Uh, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's like one in three Americans prefer to use, uh, prefer watch YouTube over actual TV now. Check this out. Seventeen percent of TV viewers dropped off last year. So let's say you had a hundred people watching a cable TV show last year. Now there's only 83 people watching that same cable TV show this year. 17, yeah, 17% 17 of people turned off their cable last year. Now I'm on TV. Why, why am I on TV? I'm on A&E. Why am I on A&E? Why did I give five years of my life to A&E? Because I know that there's this little teeny sliver, this subset group of people that actually still watch TV. And I'm like, if I can create content on that little medium and document it through my YouTube channel, I actually get to kill two birds, one stone, and I get the credibility of telling people, You're, I'm on a TV show. Because think about that. Like when somebody goes, hey, Zach, I wanna, I wanna hire you, but I wanna know what, what have you all done? And you go, oh, well, I, I filmed a whole documentary with Pace, you know, I'm Pace, you know, reach out to Pace Morby, da 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 They're gonna go, oh, you did stuff for Pace More. You go, yeah, here's 17 videos that I did are all on, all on his YouTube channel. I recorded all of those. That's your, that's a highlight reel for you. That's credibility for the next project. So same thing for me when I walk into a room and I go, yeah, I'm, I'm on a TV show. Host of Triple Digit Flip on A&E. We were, we were the number one watch show on A&E last year. Yeah, you never watch the show, but I just got credibility by telling you that. So that's a big part of content too. But again, everything, everything, everything goes back to YouTube. And I don't see anybody making a better version of YouTube. I think YouTube's just gonna get better and better and better what they do. And I think people that are out there trying to create content and they're trying to do everything short form, short form is critical. It is absolutely critical because that's the dating app. How are people gonna find you on YouTube if they don't find you on all the other ones, right? So, but you, you have to give people substance. 